I didn't do a car vlog last week because my husband was in the hospital. He's here with me today. Fit as a fiddle. He is. He's fit as a fiddle. And he's um, excited to be on my car vlog. Yay. Very excited. Very excited. I'm coming to you plain face. The only thing I have on, the only thing I have on is the uh, Lip Extreme by Too Faced. I am coming to you plain face also, and I have no lip extreme. <laughs> I am just all me. Yeah, so we're hoping that the surgery that he had fixed it, fixed what his problem is. We won't know. Probably we have to go about six to eight months to see if it actually fixed anything. And then maybe at that point, we might be able to set up a trip or something just to see if, you know, if we can do that. Um, <clears throat> It was kind of an extensive surgery, and I, I appreciate everybody's prayers. Um, it meant a lot. So, yeah, that's where I've been. We've been on vacation. I've been on vacation the last couple of days, and he took the week off because of the surgery, and he had sick time to do that. So, I just wanted to come on and take you guys with me today I'm not really going anywhere since I'm not going to work I may go a different route um, but yeah so leave me a comment down in the comment section of what you guys are doing this week it's getting hot here um, in the 80s low 90s every day yay I am not a a warm weathered person. I like it just a little bit cooler. Um, I think I've mentioned that before. It's just entirely too hot down here. And anybody that's thinking about moving way down south near the ocean, be prepared for sand gnats. They are glorious. And I am being sarcastic. Um, <clears throat> so, let's see what's going on. I just feel like I need to give a shout out to my buddies at DHS <laughs> and to our great president for making America uh, great again. We're just not getting into political stuff, so hey. <laughs> I was cautioned against that, and I yet will I say ignored this. it. I will say. I ignored it. I will say that everyone has a right to their own opinion, and we are not stuffing our opinion on anybody else's throat. Oh, I but what am. he will say I totally am. What he will say is that his opinion <laughs> is right. So if you know my husband and none of you do, but if you if you get to know me more on, on YouTube, you will understand that uh, he's a very opinionated person and he has uh, he has lots of views on things. <laughs> I just just having a little bit of fun. That's all. Just having a little bit of fun. So, <laughs> so yeah. So he works uh, for the Department of Homeland Security, and uh, he's been a government employee for, uh, geez, going on what, 40, 35 years. Uh, finishing up my thirty seventh year. <laughs> yeah. So thirty seven years for that, and um, we've moved all around with his job. And it landed us down here um, and we're hoping to maybe like I said in one of my other vlogs but my kids you know we haven't really broached this with our kids that much we're thinking maybe moving up north um, after we retire but that is an iffy that is an iffy thing we don't know yet so but um, it's been nice having a few days off from work I haven't had a vacation in I think it's been over a little over eight months and I needed to get some time away um, I'm sure they're missing me so <laughs> but, <clears throat> so let's see I have no makeup on today so I can't really tell you what's on my face all I have is skincare products on but I can tell you that I washed my face uh, this morning with the Rodan and feels scrub and I'm not selling Rodan and Fields. I just have that uh, leftover from some that I bought and then I put on the vitamin C serum from Maylove the glow maker that's wonderful stuff and then I use two ordinary products which is the niacinamide goes right on after the um, 
the glow maker and then the hyaluronic acid goes on top of that and wouldn't you know it I left the house and forgot to put on sunscreen so yes um, but what I my normal would have been eye cream next and I'm using Paula's Choice eye cream at the moment and waiting for the eye cream from May Love to get back into stock it's been out of stock now for about four months but I that would be my holy grail right now if I could get that um, I love it and then I would put on let's see my I think I'm using what am I using I think I'm using, using Rodan and Fields uh, moisturizer too that has 15 SPF but I also put the Australian gold on top of that because more is more as Tati would say um, <clears throat> And just because I know you're wondering this and you're afraid to ask, so I'll tell you anyway. Um, I use Honest Amish beard oil first thing in the morning just to get to my pores and my skin and keep it soft and manly and non-itchy. And then I follow that up with a beard softener. Quite For, awesomely, I'm not sure which brand of beard softener. For all ladies, all you ladies with beards. All you ladies with beards. Take note. Talk to your men, tell them to use beard and scruff softener because mama likes the way the beard feels when I use the beard and scruff softener. <laughs> and then I follow that up with Honest Amish um, beard balm which has a little bit of beeswax in it for a nice hold and a little glistening shine to it. Okay. And I comb that out with an acetone comb so that it doesn't in fact damage so, the beard. So okay hairs. I need to rein this in. Acetate, <laughs> acetate, acetate comb, excuse me, not acetone, acetate. So um, we went to see the movie The Avengers Endgame yesterday which is amazing by the way if you have not seen that you need to go to a theater and see it. It is long but um, it is an amazing movie, and Thor in this movie is... Like me. Is, is like he kind of steals the show in this one because he's, you, you just have to watch it and see. But in one part, he has a beard like my husband, but my, it's longer than my husband, so, and he's braided it, and he looks all manly and everything, and my husband's like, I'm going to do that, and I'm like, you're never going to do that, you work at a professional job, you're never going to take that, and you're not going to braid it, and you're never, I said, I would be okay with that if you would do that. That I don't think. Oh, it, it will happen. I don't happen. think it will happen. It will so totally happen. And by the way, I look so much like that main character Thor <laughs> that people were actually asking for my autograph outside the theater. No. And I said, no, I am not Thor. Thor, however, emulates me, and that is how he creates on screen persona. <laughs> no. The beard. But. But uh, seriously. Seriously. Go see this movie. You need to see what was the one before that. So, uh, Avengers. Infinity Wars. You need to see the Infinity Wars before it if you haven't. Cause it's that free on you, Netflix. Yeah, we saw it on Netflix the uh, day before yesterday when we before we went to see this the um, Endgame. And it'll it'll let you know pretty much what's... It'll lead into the Endgame movie. It, it is a great movie. So, um, I do highly recommend seeing that. <laughs> Robin cried. I was too manly. I simply just no, had stiff upper lip going. it was really good. And I'm not going to do spoilers. I may, have, I may have moistened my eyes somewhat. So, so let's see what happened. Let's go back to the hospital. Let's see what happened in the hospital. Okay, so we go in, <clears throat> get him all set up for surgery, and he's got his gorgeous little gown on, and... Um, they take him back before I get to go back with him. And when I came back, he's laying back on the bed. And they had not given him any medication at this point. His uh, pulse rate is so low that it normally, without any medication, that they tend to not want to give him medication to calm him down because his heart rate is between 45 and 50 <clears throat> normally. Um, so I spent some time back there with him and my daughter came and sat with me for the surgery and um, they went and they took him. So we went and got something to eat. We came back. <laughs> it took about an hour and a half before we could actually see him. They, got, they brought him to his room we, and we came up a little bit after that. And so I walked over to him after the when I first saw him to see how he was doing and he says straight up and he said I could go back to work and I'm like he says I could go back to work but I'm not gonna <laughs> I felt good 
good. He felt real good for the first day, um, and then and then he, actually the day after that, it took about that long for most of the stuff that they had given him um, to wear off. But the third day in, he was having a lot of issues, a lot of pain, a lot of um, a lot of hard hard time getting around, and I felt bad for him because I don't. I don't see him in pain very often, and his kids have never seen him in pain. So, for Sarah, my daughter, to see him the way he was when she saw him, it was kind of interesting to see her reaction to that because she's never seen her daddy in pain, and she is a daddy's girl. <laughs> so, it was interesting to see that. I'm a manly man. I feel no pain. I show no pain. Oh, I simply be manly. I, I don't know if I did the right thing here having him on this vlog or it if is, I did it the is, wrong however, thing. It is, however, too late to take it back now. You know, now. doing this vlog because... Too late to take it back. I have a wonderful on-screen person. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just shaking my head here. I don't know, ladies. I don't Men know. wants to be me and women wants to have me. Oh, my me. gosh. All right. We are Christians, however. <laughs> I didn't say anybody got me. I just said they were okay. So, yeah. So, um, like I said, let me know down in the comments um, what you guys were up to the last weekend. We we really didn't do too much other than we've been staying around the house. Um, just just chilling because that's what I wanted to do. And I felt like he needed to rest. And so, um, we did that. And any of you men that go ahead and respond, just tell her right up front that what you're doing is is grieving over the end of the hunting season. No, no, yeah. <clears throat> Although on my Facebook this morning, I saw a lady whose husband had caught a turkey yesterday. So it must still be turkey season. I don't know anything if about that. If you're a turkey that. hunter, you can't, hunt, you can't really hunt turkey where we live. Oh, in swamp. okay. He's leading into his hobby. All right. My husband is a falconer which means he keeps birds to fly and he also keeps falcons, not falcons, he keeps Harris hawks um, to hunt and to breed. And <clears throat> his hunting season is from August to January, I think, or, or yeah, January, February. It's from middle of August, although you can't hunt, then it's too hot. It's really is from October until mid-March. So, he hunts and then he breeds uh, he breeds them so it is an interesting hobby it's a very expensive hobby but he loves doing it and he's been doing it now for a really long time um, and every now and then in his season he will have uh, it depends on the season but he can have six or seven birds to sell in any one given breed, breeding season and those birds um, you can sell those birds, and we're talking Harris Hawks here, between $650, $700, $800. So he can make a pretty good profit off of that. Um, so yeah, so he enjoys his little hobby that he has, not really little, this is a big hobby. So he enjoys that, and my hobby is YouTube. So let's see. That is probably going to be all I'm going to do today because we're at 13 minutes right now. And any, anything longer than that, ladies, you'll attest to this, you have to really commit <laughs> to watching a video any longer than this. And if you write in and you tell her that you are interested in seeing hawks, <laughs> when, when the weather gets cool, I will have her put on videos of me flying the hawks. <laughs> That's and you can see them flying and feeding on my fist. It will be it is very cool to watch. It's very, very cool to watch him do that. I will I will say that. You have to so, tell her it's much more interesting than makeup. It's not more interesting than you. No. We all know makeup is, is rule. <laughs> <laughs> My hawks wear no makeup, but they are fierce and they are hot. All right, ladies. Well, I'm going to let you go, and I will talk to you on Monday. It's exciting because Monday I have a giveaway for my 200th, 200th subscriber. I'm actually at 222 right now, so I'm excited about that. So this will be your last chance today to enter that giveaway. You have to go back to the video that I announced the, the uh, giveaway in, and you have to leave me a comment down in the comment section about what you would buy at Sephora. So, 
go back to that if you want to enter it and you haven't and then I'll be picking a winner tomorrow which is Sunday um, and I will have that video up after my regular Monday video to be back to back so alrighty then I will see you twice on Monday Peace out. you guys have a great weekend